This is Las Vegas Real Estate Now with local real estate expert Harvey Blankfeld. So let's talk about May of 2022. Now, again, a couple, couple of clarifications. First of all, this is just single family homes. Uh, and, and when we do the May report, we're actually using April data. Just so you know, this is the wrap up of April. So first, single family homes currently available, 2,949 single family homes. That's up over 700 homes from last month. That's a big jump, guys. Inventory increase, single family what homes. What do you attribute that to? Uh, I think that interest rates have slowed down a little bit in terms of the buyer. But honestly, the truth is, is more sellers are to market because our activity is still the same. We're right. still closing the same numbers, Steve. So more sellers have decided it's time to sell. So that's that's good news for buyers. Um, pending and contingent right now in escrow, we have 3,578. That's about the same as last month. Uh, sold in the last 30 days, 3,078. That's that 3,000 number. We were pretty consistent in terms of the number of closings every month, right around 3,000. Puts us at basically 0.96 months of inventory. So we have enough houses that everything we have currently available should be sold within a 30-day period right now. Uh, but that's up significantly from last month, where it was less than three three quarters of a month, less wow. than three weeks. Um, average days on the market right now are 17, which is actually down a little bit from last month, which is interesting also. Last year at this time, we had only 2,000 single-family homes available. We had 4,400 in escrow, and we had 30, almost 3,500 sold in the 30-day period prior um, with a 28 days on market. So that was last year. That, that, that was, to me, again, interesting stats comparing year over year. But we're seeing this trend. We've seen it the last three months in a row where the inventory is starting to creep up, and now it just really jumped up. Maybe some people want to cash out of their uh, equity. My next chart is, is the um, a stack chart, which basically shows the amount of activity we've had month over month in single-family homes. And we're, we're at a, a very strong pace year to date, but we're behind last year. Last year was a record year in the number of closings we had, and we're slightly behind last year in terms of the stack chart, in terms of, of a number of closings. Then we have the uh, basically a bar graph showing appreciation year over year. And we're currently running at around 15.4% year over year on average this year over last year. Last year, we ended up at over 20% appreciation. So we have two really big years of jumps of big appreciation jumps, there. Big jumps of appreciation. Now, the, the next stack chart is just purely luxury. This is a million dollars and over. And in this chart, um, what I want you guys to understand is, is that already in the first uh, four months, we're almost... At, we've almost surpassed every year prior other than last year. In four months, we've all, in terms of the number of homes sold over a million dollars, we're almost, uh, the only year we haven't surpassed is 2020, which we're going to surpass next month. Right. And then we will have, in, within the first five months of the year, surpassed every year we've ever had other than last year. And we're a whole month ahead of last year, which last year was a record-breaking month. Indeed. Or year. Indeed. Me. This other chart basically shows the, the amount of demand versus supply, which is what I'm going to be talking about as well. And I did my monthly chart where I show the line graphs of where um, closings and available single-family homes, the number of closings and available, and we're right about even. This month, we have 2,949 homes that are available, and we just sold 3,070. So we're, just, we're, we're selling a month's worth of inventory last month is what happened. The inventory grew pretty dramatic. That's one of the biggest jumps in inventory we've seen in the last three years, truthfully. 700 home increase in inventory, available inventory. You've been listening to Las Vegas Real Estate Now. If you ever have a question about real estate or any of the other topics we cover, just call me off air or text me at 702-203-1165. You can also check us out on the web at lvrealestateradio.com or on our handle on social media at LV Real Estate Radio. 